my goal in coaching has always been to strive to, to be better as a coach myself, to try and make the game enjoyable, to try and execute the skills to the uh, highest of my ability, to pass on that message to players. But this area out here in the D, this is where you're going to do your match dummy. I would have seen a lot of situations where, you know, when a team didn't perform well, that they were made train extremely hard rather than smart. It's fine being able to run fast and we know you have to be mobile and it's fine being strong but um, we know that's an important part of the game. If you can't catch and kick the ball or score, sure, it's of no benefit. All the other stuff turn to nothing. And I look at Kerry at the moment in the senior game and I think the reason that they're staying in touch with the likes of Dublin is because technically they're so good. They're still, for me, the best kickers of the, of, of the ball in the game. Paul Ganey, Paul Ganey for Kerry, and they now lead by two. I feel I can pick up anything from any one or any other sport to try and help us in our game. That's exactly what I'd like to do. And I, I, Jordan gives a, an example on YouTube about defensive stance, and he, he, he showed how you direct players a certain way. Now, if my offensive player wants to go left, then I am going to try to force him totally opposite of where he wants to go. So I'm going to force him right. If he wants to go right, then I'm going to force him left. So that means I have to put my left foot forward and influence the offensive player to go this way. The language, if, a, if you took away him and his face, could be almost transferred onto a Gaelic field. Because, I mean, his positioning of his feet and his hands to show the direction in which he wants the player to go. And then the skill set. He, 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 he does exercises shooting with two balls, or the, the dribble with two balls. And you're just looking, it's no wonder his skill sets were so high. It's no wonder that he was adept at, go, at, at bouncing off either hand as easily as he was. And they are the skill sets that we're looking to transfer into our game. I look at the All Blacks and they've some fabulous challenges on the net for skills. And I see that that's what players want. They want that competitive environment here. Fun, but competitive environment. I've gone after, in, in the teams that I've been involved with, a high skill set. That's what I've gone after. If you go out and have fun and enjoy the skills that you're trying to execute, and as part of your training session, have a bit of laughter whilst trying to learn those skills, that you improve quicker and that the, you know, the, that skill set stays in your, in, in your memory bank.